Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this week. Winter driving showed up in a hurry on the mountain passes around the Okanagan. Last Sunday, heavy snow blanketed the Coquihalla and Connector, causing major traffic issues as vehicles struggled to gain traction on the slippery roads, closing the Coquihalla in both directions. The Ministry of Transportation said they weren't prepared for the more than 20 centimeters of snow that fell, and an electrical issue caused a delay in activating the chain-up signs. A tentative deal has been struck in the months-long casino strike that's impacted Gateway Casinos in Kelowna, Vernon, Penticton and Kamloops. The BCGEU and Gateway Casinos reached a tentative agreement late Wednesday, but details on when a ratification vote will be held are still being sorted out. Talks between the two parties had broken down for two months prior to this week's talks. More than 675 workers walked off the job in late June. Charges were laid against a Penticton man this week in relation to a 2017 daytime shoot shooting that left a man dead. 37-year-old Sylvain Demers was charged with manslaughter after 52-year-old Randall Taves was shot dead in an apartment complex on Penticton's Creston Avenue. Demers was released on bail on Monday. He'll be back before the courts on November 28th. The man accused of threatening a sex worker with a firearm in Falkland in August 2017 must wait until later this month to find out if he'll be granted bail. Curtis Sagmoen has been in custody ever since he was arrested in October 2017. The Crown and Defence gave lengthy submissions in Vernon Court this week, but Justice Jeremy Guild will make his decision later this month. Sagmoen lived in the North Okanagan farm where the remains of 18-year-old Tracy Jenner were found in October 2017, but no charges have been laid in connection with her death. And on Wednesday, Greyhound buses made their last trips out of the Okanagan after serving the area for 88 years. In Kelowna, Norm Fix saw off the last bus leaving the station. I'm very excited to be here for the last bus because I was here for the first bus. As my wife and I own the uh, property and built this building for Kelowna. And we got a little bit of a choke in there because it's the end of a long area. And I've worked at Greyhound since I was 21 years old. So kind of sad in one way, but then in another way, that was the way things were going. Alberta-based company eBus will be stepping in to provide service between Vancouver, Kelowna and Kamloops, but no such options are on the horizon for the South Okanagan. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.